Welcome back to the series Building Web APIs with Azure Functions on Serverless Hub. This is the sixth video on the series. We have completed implementing Azure Functions and deployed them in Azure. In this video, we will host a web API storage account static sites to call the functions deployed on Azure. For this exercise, we will be using a pre built Angular application. I will add the URLs of both build files and the source code in the description box. Let's get started. Let's go into the resource group and click on Add. And let's search for storage account. Click on create. Let's choose the resource group. Let's name our storage account. Let's change the redundancy settings. Let's skip the rest of the settings and go to review and create. Let's create. Once the storage account is created, let's go into it. Scroll down and look for static website under the data management section. Enable static website. Let's specify index.html as the index document. Let's specify 404.html as the error document. Let's click save. Notice the property primary endpoint. We can access our web app on a browser using this URL. Let's go to containers. Let's go into the web container. Let's click on upload. We will be using a pre built Angular app for this exercise. Let's download the files. You can copy this URL from the description box below. Download the to do app zip file. Unzip the content and open the app.config file. We need to set the base URL for our function app as the API URL. Let's go back to Azure portal. Let's go into the function app. From the overview section, copy the URL. Replace the base URL in the app.config. Go back into storage account. Click on select file. Browse for the files in to do app folder. Let's upload the files. Once the upload is complete, go back to the function app. And look for course settings under API section. And add the URL of the static website under allowed origins. Let's go to the web app URL. Web app should get the to do items from the API. And you should be able to create, update, and delete to do items. In this video, we hosted a web app in a storage account using static websites. In the next video, we can see how we can secure our API using authentication.